Hello, the Rebel One, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. McCullough. And right now, as you can see, it's May 5th, 1941, and I've just finished off the American Civil War. It was incredibly bloody. I'd assume at least 10 million Americans died in this conflict. Like, it's been insane. And obviously, you were still at war with... Oh, no. <laughs> the Russian Republic. The Entente as well. Uh, actually, I've... We already... Okay, so the first... Nation that we capitulated, as you saw in the last episode, was a car, the Constitutional American Republic. The second nation to collapse was actually Canada itself. And I also took the Guiana down here, as well as, I think, the West Indies. So I just straight, straight up thought, you know what, screw it, I'm annexing them. Canada, because they intervened in this American Civil War, I'm going to eat them up. Just nom 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 nom. Eat, 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 eat. They don't deserve life. They don't deserve um, freedom. So it is what it is until we give them a proper amount of freedom. Um, obviously, I guess the Australasian Confederation is a major, as well as the French national state, which they still own parts of uh, Labrador and this area up here. And apparently we have to fight the Russian Republic. The Serbian Republic is now considered a major. Um, Austria was annexed, actually. Czechoslovakia is looking pretty nice. Uh, the Brotherhood of Slavs, which is kind of cool. We also have the Entente, which is a nice blue, but we have to kill them off. Honestly, I don't think the Pact is going to live, just because, as you can see over here, uh, casualties. We could have half a million of them pretty easily, but, uh, yeah, the Russians are moving into the Pact, which I don't exactly like. But we'll see what happens. We got some comms to go through as well. We have Italy. And, well, actually, the Ottomans declared war on Italy, which is weird, but this is just a giant mess. The world's just a gigantic, ungodly mess right now. And it's unfortunate. But, as you can see, we're still fighting all over the place. Like, I, we've lost a lot of guys. Holy crap. This is... It's been insane how many men we've lost in this uh, conflict so far. But our navy's looking pretty good. We lost all the subs. But it's a small price to pay to have, I don't know, three carriers here under George Wellen. Some dude... Uh, Anderson. Anderson, okay. Flight deck manager, yeah. Definitely get that one. Um, just make sure that we have... Plus... Wow, 20%. You should... I thought it was 10%. 20% is pretty nice, actually. That's actually pretty good. But, also, I've done some of the focuses as well, such as new naval plan. I always choose this one instead of this one, because we're America. We're not going to have too many fuel problems, but if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Actually, if you want to read about these, please go right ahead as well. Uh, there's that one. Refit old ship, which is very nice, actually. I love this one a lot, because I love ship repair speed. And we, I've already read this one, but we can't do this yet, just because we need more ships. So, it is what it is. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Now, like... Oh, and there you go. See? Push against feds is gone. I've literally just capitulated these guys right before uh, I started re-recording. So, there you go. Goodbye. Thank you very much. And we can get more Michelin militia divisions. And actually, I just... I've been making divisions and just deleting their templates. I really don't like what they have. And it gets technically free manpower-ish. So, all right. So, overall, not too bad. I'm going to send up... And we lost another tank division, too, up here. These guys are looking really bad. It is what it is. You guys go over there. Go and do that. Uh, no, don't do that. Uh, we actually have a, six armies in total, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Because uh, now, at this point, we've got to navally invade other places. We've got to take out those guys. Alaska joined the Cobra Prosperity Sphere, which I'm not exactly happy about, but... I'm... We'll get there eventually. I didn't know Alaska could join these guys, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, 2,000 manpower. Obviously not a lot, but whatever. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, not too bad. And we need to build up a lot of cities now, since... We're probably not going to have a lot of infrastructure very soon. And hopefully, we can actually go ahead and do some stuff here, because... Ah, order store in South Dakota. Nice, 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 nice. End of the American Second Second American Civil War. What could have been the greatest capitalist oppressor of the 20th century is now firmly under the control of the working class. Throughout the country, the working class celebrates its liberation from the depredations of the bourgeois masters. While there's still much to do, today we can celebrate this victory and savor the air of an American wear. For the first time, each man is to equal solidarity forever. The Second Constitutional Convention. The time is coming to decide the next step in a revolutionary struggle. To find a way to unite workers beyond a single cause and ideology. Although our delegates come from a wide variety of unions and communes, we hope for a consensus on the future of socialist government. Like it was or over a century ago, we shall let Philadelphia be the site of a constitutional convention. Very nice. Um, we have, like I said, a couple comments to go through. But, actually, who are we fighting here? Um, Raj Authority Philippines makes sense. Anyone here in the New World? Dahomey? No. Kenya? Honestly, no, not really. Actually... CSA, and we're all fighting these guys, so... Syndicalist victory, the end of the American Civil War is great, great, great. The capitalist has no heart, but harpoon him in the back po pocketbook, and you will draw blood. A red dawn. Fight for America's gone, that's fine with us. Oh, we've gone back down here. We need more PP. Oh, that sucks. That's really not... Oh! Oh, fall Const Constantinople, huh? We've got a lot of enemies who are doing some spy stuff here. Tungsten... Oh, we don't have any... Oh, god dang it. Yeah, actually, we lost a lot of things. Death of Big Bell. Hey, what? If you like about that, please go right ahead. A hero revolution has been lost. Oh, that's not bueno. Ten men that shook my wife. Uh, if you want to about that again, please go right ahead. How embarrassing does that... Oh, God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Huh. War propaganda. Um, oh, wow. That's really bad. Minus 60%. Jesus Christ. 
someone save our souls? That is so bad. It wasn't that bad when we were at war with the Canadians, but jeez Louise. Hey, this is Navy still running around. That's good. I don't like it when they're talking about ten men and shaking wives, but, you know, I guess it's a good thing I'm not married. Hey, Jack Reed! I love, I love that hat. I love it. Is that a new Shanka? I think it is. That's really nice. The Unionist faction. There's a Centralist faction. We got some of those, too, which I forgot about making, but, hey, at this point... Um, really, we've got enough guns. We need a lot more support equipment, which makes sense, but still. Overall, though, not too bad. And I did most, a lot of the war off-screen, just because, I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of the time, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So I figured, let's just keep moving on and see what else this campaign has for us. But come, some comments. Some people want me to go nationalists. Some people want me to go Cindy's. And some people want me to go technocrats. So we do have path guides here, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Lovestone. Actually, I was looking up Lovestone earlier. Oh, he's a technocratic guy. Plays Burnham. Complete the People's Senate and wait a year. That's kind of cool. Oh, do we get something done? Oh, research. Nice. Go back. Uh, main CSA faction to get these guys oh, social patriots. Uh, the buff social patriot support. Okay, well, that's cool. The Sock Dem Federalists. So Sock Dem is in the Social Democrats. Huh. Well, if, even if we can't go that way, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Can be elected if you favor the Centralists in a Cindy dominated CSA. Brownham and Burnham can still be elected if you favor the Centralists. Oh, we need to do the centralists. Guide below. Get the centralists. Limit Foster's faction. Well, I don't really care too much. Go back. Cool. I might just go and choose some other. Oh, we're doing the air doctrine too. Look at that. Wow. Um, carriers. I love carriers. I love, love, love carriers. Even though sometimes I prefer using battleships. It just depends on my mood. Oh, let's see. Why? Okay, so honestly, like, whenever I'm at the time of me like uploading like Kaiserreich videos. For Kaiser Redux, I should really say, because I, I should go back to Kaiser, Kaiser Redux sometime. But for Kaiser Redux videos, I don't know why. But whenever I upload them, sometimes they're only, quite literally, 480p max. Even for me. And I don't understand why, so that's why sometimes you'll see, like, re-uploaded videos. Um, like, I'll finish uploading it at 1am in the morning, which I know is very late, but, you know, sometimes, actually, a lot, most of the time, uh, I don't have time to finish uploading things during the day, so, at 1am, it's done uploading, it says it's processing, I'm like, okay, it's got about 5 hours until I release things at 6am Eastern Standard Time, and, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work sometimes, it literally just, was like, nope, we don't want HD here, which is like, well, I don't like that, so, I apologize if I have to re-upload things, it just is what it is, it's YouTube, because the raw footage here I have is 1080p, supposedly, according to OBS, anyways, <clears throat> So I recommends we do the Black Revolt, which actually sounds like a lot of fun. I don't mind trying them out sometime. The Black Revolt actually sounds like a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So someday we will. But last America's ending. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. God bless America. Uh, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go there. Uh, like, we should go World Revolution versus Revolution at Home. Um, whether we should do the Red Revolutionized Monroe or Red Red Monroeism. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. I think overall we will go with the World Revolution for this campaign. Because that seems a little bit more fun. Now, whether we go with International or not, we'll see in a little bit. But, oh, we actually have to foster Burnham. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Because we need to really have the Constitutional Convention first. <clears throat> oh, the dust settles. Oh, that's not too bad. But I, I just, I've said this before, but as the dust settles, you get a bonus for land auction. I'm not so sure if I really like that. I don't know. It just seems like there could be things like, okay, so war, with a war effort, you have a lot of militias, right? No matter which group wins. Getting a land auction doesn't seem like it's really great, but I would say, like, after the Civil War, if if we're not currently, like, fighting, like, the Entente and stuff, like, if it's just Americans killing Americans, um, I would probably say that maybe there should be some sort of debuff, maybe, to the, the military. I mean, yeah, we got debuff here, political aftermath, economic aftermath, what, like, and even, like, all the other aftermath, the small little groups here, too, like, maybe, like, a restructuring of the militias, a restructuring of the, uh, the... You know, the small little groups that are around the nation, you know, trying to fight for their cause and whatnot, like, we're trying to, like, reform the military. Instead of like, getting a land doctrine, give us massive debuffs to the military in the end. Maybe not massive, but like, a significant debuff, just because we got to reorganize ourselves, right? And then by doing the dust settles and stuff like down here, then maybe, like, re- or take away some of those debuffs as time goes on. I don't know, just to rebuild and prepare ourselves, so. At least that's what I'm thinking. So right now we're radical socialists. And we are, yep, oh, no, no, we're syndicalists for now. Actually, if we keep going down this way first, rebuilding the country? Yes, please. The great American Revolution is over, but unless something is done, the wounds we have torn open in this country will continue to fester and bleed. We must work with haste to build up an egalitarian, equal, and enduring America from the ruins of the old. Pretty good. As we're trying to kill off a bunch of Russians here. So, actually, I don't want too many supply issues, so you guys head on here. 
the Constitutional Convention begins. If you'd like to read about this, please go ahead. Loyalists to the Old Order are not invited. It's fine for now. I've got no beef with the Reichs Pact. I really don't care. I need to play the Reichs Pact Nations again sometime. <sighs> yes. That'll be good. And a lot of our divisions already 40 combo with. Actually, at this point, just make them all 40 combo with. Except for... All you guys, just do something like this for now. I don't want to send you anywhere yet, but... Uh... Where is this one division? Um, Haywood's own. There you go. Just, go, just become 40s. We won't have the manpower for it, but whatever. I don't really care. Illinois Revolutionary Divisions. Oh no, it must be with the other group. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they're all 40. That's going to be really bad here, but the system of government. Alright, so there goes those guys. The people exercise power through political parties. Centralists gain an edge of the convention versus radicals gain an edge of the convention. Um, what do we want to burn them? I think I've done Browder before. So, let's go over here. So, what if, what if, maybe we could try to get Lovestone. So, Capone would be nice, but I've already played as Capone before. You can get Browder, burn them with the Social Patriots. Choose all events during the way the boss of Social Patriots support. Consolidate position before the war ends. Become the dominant faction. We tried that. Didn't really work out so well. We'll join the wing. After winning a war, a power struggle break out. And after a short chain event, you can choose who takes over. Capone is also acceptable. You can also be elected if you favor the Centralists in a Cindy-dominated CSA. That's cool. You get Foster. I'm going to try to get this Love Stone for now because some of you guys recommended it. Uh, play as Burnham. Burnham, Burnham, Burnham. And actually, Burnham's down here. And if we get him, we can go ahead and choose Power Projection? No. We need to choose the People's Senate. Ah, it's down here. People's Senate. That's cool. And get that as fast as possible. Do not increase surveillance. Cool. Go back. So to get Burnham, realistically, uh, can be likely to be favor the Centralists. So we just need to save, favor the Centralists for now. Radicals, centralists. The parties, people exercise power through political parties. Cool. So we need more centralists. Barty coming? Yes, yes. Strike the cells. The framework. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Approved. Nice. Sink those pieces of garbage. They don't deserve life. They literally don't deserve life. They went to war with America. Us, the true America. When we were in our the moment of need. A constitutional judiciary, enshrined judicial review of the court. The Supreme Court will not be missed. Oh, wow, look at Russia. Jesus Christ. That is going to be a crappy on time to fight. And that's sad. So the president, a controllable president versus an independent president. Yes. Look at that. Not too bad, not too bad. And I'll be honest, like at the time of me recording this, my back actually hurts quite a bit. I don't know what I did. I put my cat down on the floor or my bed and he's, and just my back just gave out. Well, it didn't just give out, but it didn't feel very good. Anyways, so if I groan or anything like that, just let you know. Cool. Granted, employment will stop in tyrants. Dignity of labor. Dignity of labor. There we go. 40. That's nice. I uh, love carriers. Ooh, almost sucked at that one. Uh, I love... For some reason, right now, at the time of this recording, I love destroyers. I like them small things. I like them tiny. Anyways, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, hangers, yes. Alright. Carrier engine threes, and very good. Even better carriers. Goodbye. Um, we're going to need way more chromium for where we're headed. There you go. There you go. Not bad. We need more military factories, too. Wow, we need a lot more guns, a lot more of this, a lot more of that. But that makes all sense. Uh, DC, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York City. Honestly, I don't really care. I, DC, Philadelphia seems nice. The, mm, I don't remember which one I've chosen. I never remember. DC, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York City. Um... I don't want to do DC. If I play as a Fed again, we'll do DC again sometime, but Chicago seems pretty nice. I kind of like Chicago, but I do like Philadelphia because it does have its own port. New York City is kind of nice as well, and they stay with us the entire time. So did Philadelphia, though, and so does Chicago. Uh, uh, what's the population of New York City? You know, I'll do New York City. Why not? I don't remember if I ever did. Oh, wait. Was it still a cap? Hey, if you want to buy that, please go ahead. There we go. Yay! Now, I guess we got to. Oh, and since we have you guys here. And we do have three people instead of four. Go do that. Dr. Phil. I mean, you gotta love it when Dr. Phil is a spy working for the uh, Totalists. Right? Rebuild in the country, my friends. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. And the election. Oh, Alright, so if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Um, I don't understand why they still have William Big Bill Haywood here. He's dead already, but whatever. Earl Browder. I've done Alphonse Capone's assumes control. 
But I've done it. Eh, it's, it's fun, but it's okay. James Burnham pulls through. I want to do James Burnham because I don't think I've ever played as James Burnham yet before. I've definitely never played as him before. He's a managerialist. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Very cool. And please, destroy these bourgeois capitalists. These monarchists. Ding-dongs, as we might want to call them sometime. But burn them, daddy. Burn them will burn them out. Oh! Well, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. The presidential election of 41. It is here with much fanfare as expected. James Burnham is in the lead, but as the government has promised a fair and open election, it's anyone's guess as to who will win the war. Or who will win after the debates and all the campaigning is done. Who will emerge victorious in 41? Congratulations, big old Jamie. Jamie Burnham. Hmm. Mm-mm. Hmm. Mm. What a big boy. He's going to burn those capitalists. All right. Not bad. The Moxist. Ooh. Uh, if you want to about that, please go right ahead. Williams, he falsely criticizes elections. Sore loser. Yes, yes, yes. The Patriot. The Machiavellian. Vertical integration. Oh, Burnham second in command. Now that James Burnham is in power, he has to make the choice as to who should appoint his second in command. Who should he pick? Look at more daily political power. Howard Scott. Civilian factory construction, he goes up. We lose stuff. Ooh, Jay loves... Ooh, do we have to actually do this? A true American president is head of the government as well. I kind of like that. He does both jobs. I mean, that's a lot to, for him to do, but still... Um, plays Burnham and complete the people's Senate focus and wait a year. Choose not to increase surveillance to get him, and he'll eventually coup. You know what, let's get him. Why not? We lose some PP, but... This, he totally won't hurt us. Totally won't hurt us, right? Now our Navy's actually not too bad. Oh, sure, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, are we broke, we're going in? We're going in, son. Oh, the fall of Rio de Janeiro. Very nice. How did you guys get over here, too? I forgot about this area as well. My bad. I definitely don't want to get everyone cut off here. Oh, uh, we just did. God dang it. So, after this, I mean, we can do this immediately. I think the other stuff would really help us out immediately a little bit more. <sighs> squeeze the bourgeoisie. Ooh, squeeze me. I want to improve our uh, ability to wage war first. Redistribute the wealth. I think this is pretty good to get first. Because we need way more consumer goods. Political aftermath, that helps out so much. But this is helping out as well. Let's help out. Let's do redistribute first. Well, first. We will no longer tolerate a social order where men, where men do absolutely nothing useful can amass millions of dollars. But millions of proletariats who work all the days of their lives secure barely enough to prolong a wretched existence. The end of the banks, corporations, and hoarders is finally here as we dip into the wealth and wealth reserves of our enemies and redistribute them to the populace. So can't build your squad. God dang it. Find them and kill them. That's all we ask you to do. Find and kill. And this is only... Th oh, it's 50 day focus. That sucks. <sighs> you know what I would like to see? Because the Entente decided to go to war with us early, very, 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 very early on. If we, do, like, for any, like, any faction that does get declared war upon by the Entente, we should be able to, like, I don't know, have shorter day focus days, just because it doesn't make sense why our focuses are so long. Well, it does make some sense why our focuses are so long. But, like, we're already at war. Like, they're already here to kill us. Like... We don't, as much as we need to recover from this war, like, it's not cool that, you know, people are already trying to kill us and do stuff like this, but I don't know, just like, hmm, we're technically at war, so, why do I have to wait so long? Motor is looking really good, though, wow. Hmm, we could use more war support, but I want to save up for, uh, that stuff over there. Wealth redistribution, begin reconstruction. The Civil War has blasted our country to pieces. Large parts of the rural country are not but mud and ashes. While countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble. We shall set to work <clears throat> to, to developing new housing and infrastructure as soon as possible. Cool, all that stuff is good. It is 41. We could get some more radar, but I think we're going to really focus home on ships for now. And then we'll get planes, and then we'll get everything else. I think that'll be good for now. Yeah, our fleet definitely needs some help. Uh, actually, we're still at war, so we can't send volunteers. Germany is not having a good time, which is not very good. But, we'll see. Other comments included what? And go with International Red Monroe, that's true. Uh, so, if someone is, you suggests we should more tanks, because, you know, mobile warfare is heavily tank-reliant, which we are trying. Um, someone recommends we should try to Balkan Country in uh, Kaiser Redux, which I do want to try to Illyria. Illyria seems like a very interesting fun nation to play as. Does Transylvania have a focus tree? Please tell me they do. Oh, you're paying me, Transylvania. Romania's looking pretty good right here, too. Um, or someone also recommended actually try to Greece sometime. We probably will. No guarantees, but I did say we we're going to get more ship stuff, but whatever, this will be fine for now. Oh, uh, there you go. Less than 100 a day now. Whatever. Uh, someone also says we should... Let's abolish private property. We'll see about that. Or go world revolution. Yeah, pretty much. So. I do need to try another China campaign. I'll be... Like I said before. Uh, 
Oh, I guess Ching Chan is dead. Okay, then. Um, I played his left KMT before. I'll be honest. I just was clicking buttons. He must have got an updated portrait. That looks a little better than when I remembered him. Huh. Okay. Cool. And I want to play some Mongolians against some time. The Russian state. There's just so many paths for, for Russia. It's it's actually really good. No matter how much I complain about it. <laughs> it is what it is. And Primer of God Save Billy King. Or Killing Billy. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Chaplain has outdone himself. Great. Alright. Oh, we need to get some better torpedoes too. Uh, I want the best engines possible. Sonar has to be level 2 before we do anything else there. Level 1. Oh my goodness, there's so much we got to do here. Oh my goodness, not even worth doing that one. Um, yeah, just wait. Sit, just sit. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, 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 wait. Do we have another carrier yet? We do not. Actual sonar now. I'm glad we waited. So that stuff is all good. We need to get that one eventually. We need better torpedoes. So, torpedo attack. But torpedo reveal chance. Where's more? Where's better torpedoes? Uh, torpedoes? Yes. We can make some dreadnoughts too, but that still costs a lot of chromium. Uh, sonar, sonar, sonar. Which is the music program, I think, if I remember correctly. Nice, good, 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 good. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's pretty darn laggy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, redistribute the wealth, very good. Begin the reconstruction. Oh, they're, oh, they're pushing against the Germans. Up uh, next, women's liberation. I always choose that one. Social revolution. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, after this. The next step would be good to do. Friendship with Mexico? No. We're playing green. Mexican standoff. Alright, well, we'll see. And I'd love to do this stuff, but really, we got to build up our economy again. And we got to figure out how to kill the Entente. Let's deal with the Feds. Trust me, formative justice. Deal with the ODP. Destroy Jim Crow. Reconstruction is over. I don't get me wrong. This is all good stuff, but we're actually still building stuff up. Are we losing political power? 0.7 is not very good. We get some more civic construction speed, get more consumer goods, factory construction speed, cap base, efficiency output, which would be all nice stuff. Alright, so I think I really want to kill the Entente. So we've got to figure it away. I'm not going to kill all South America yet. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. But, um, hmm. I don't wonder if Portugal will give us. Oh no, it's you guys. Give us access. Because then we might be able to invade Algeria. But I'm going to go and read about social revolution. I'm not sure that would really be the thing for totalists to really do here. Centralist faction. Vanguard is non-democratic totalist or other centralist ideas regarding the revolution. If you'd like to read about the Catholic workers, please go ahead. Live in accordance with the justice and charity of Jesus Christ. Holy Jesus. Not even aligned with one another. Split between Foster's collectivists on the ultra-left. James Burnham's American Workers Party on the right. And James Browser's centralist in the center. Uh, American Workers Party, Social Revolution, eh, we could do it. Anything else for this stuff? Anything for there? Anything for here? Probably do that one. Oh, uh, do we want Social Revolution? I always choose that one though. I always choose Women's Liberation. I always do that one. Eh. Social Revolution. Eh, let's do Social Revolution this time. The land of the free and the home of the brave was anything, but we have work, our, our work cut out for us to rid of America of corruption, racism, and chauvinism. Yet first we must tear up this very core of all these things, the capitalist system itself. Nice. Now what if? We had another uh, thing here. Um, if I leave, that means they might be able to attack us. Honestly, like, we actually did a lot of damage to the French national state here. Oh, Mordecai, Mordecai. Isn't doing so. Yeah, we sunk a lot of ships, actually. Uh, they have up to 49. We have about 50, so we're about fairly even in terms of uh, strength. So what if we do this? And do something like this. Could we actually invade from here, maybe? Potentially. I hope they kill off Morocco. That would be quite nice to see, actually. Sure, that's fine for now, guys. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, we do need to raise our uh, mobilization. That's looking actually a lot better for guns. A lot better. Wow. Cool. How many divisions does Russia have? Because they're going to be a pain in the butt to take out. Um, they don't have that many. Russia has... 150, that's not too bad, actually. Obviously, they probably have a lot of manpower, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Actually, they have a quarter million. You guys have 44,000. Germany is almost dead. And it has no fuel, so they're pretty much screwed. Oh, look at that. Nice. Let's close that, that real quick. Uh, how is this looking? Really not too bad. I think we should really start it. Trying to invade them or something. Graps, grapes of Wrath Primer. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. A film for the masses. I really want it for these guys to get over here first. Let them invade, and then we'll invade through there first. And it looks like Germany is about to collapse, so I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So right now, we've actually invaded Northern Africa. And I I, I might have lost a few divisions, maybe three divisions here. But 
Hopefully we can do pretty darn well if we do this, but there's no guarantees, of course. But hopefully we can do well. Um, actually, I thought there was an airbase around here somewhere. Let's take a look. Uh, got some more comments to go through. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I, I can't remember at this point. I usually try to write it down. Oh my goodness. Look at all the planes that we have here. Oh my goodness. That's so bad. The fighters? Yeah, we'll do. I just want the fighters for now. There you go. Do get as many of those guys right now as you possibly can because we have literally no fighter support, which is a bad idea. The game's a, a little laggy right now, but it is what it is, you know. And the Rhenish Social Republic. Cool. Apparently, the Commune of France is the Third International is fighting the Entente, which makes sense. So Russia's been really just cruising through here, which is not very good for us, but hey, we'll see what happens. As long as we can beat up the Entente here in Africa, I think we'll do okay. Uh, but I've done a couple co uh, focuses off screen as well, such as new legal equality. Foolish in Bane is a working man who makes the color of his skin the stepping stone to his imaginary superiority. Proletariat of all colors and creed fought and blood to build a new America. The loyal immigrant shall also be afforded natural born citizenship in the spirit of emancipation. Uh, let's go and just do this one next because we can. Uh, let's see. Revolutionary education because I wanted that extra research slot. Academia has been the nurturing mother of many revolutionaries, but the education system itself is inherently reactionary. In all of America's history, it was built to produce more obedient workers, more crooked capitalists, and the heartless politician. That ends now. The trial of the old Democratic Party. I've already dealt with the 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 other party, the Federals, but with the revolution over, the time has come to deal with those that have fought against us. The ODP has been the greatest allies of reaction and anti-socialism for years now, and they must finally pay for their crimes against the people. Some of the jury have been swayed, but the final decision is to imprison them, execute them, or re seize and arrest all party leaders, which I kind of want to do that one, just because I think that's, pre that's pretty much the easiest one to do. Um, yeah, it's a season. That's fine. We'll, we'll take the PP for now. Because we can go... Ooh, Cairo pack? Okay. Go to war economy, because we can. And we've already built New England. We're building the South, and we'll build some more. Uh, strike the, those leagues over there. Swedish operative captured. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully we can keep doing well in Africa here. Oh, well, maybe. We'll see what happens. Huh, we'll definitely see what happens. Oh, oh, what happened to their divisions? And losses. Yeah, we lost... Oh, non Santara communes, huh? Yeah, we lost a couple guys here and there, but uh, hopefully we'll do pretty darn well against these guys. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. The U.S. Trilogy by John Dos Passos. Uh, if you want to read about this, please go ahead. Let's see. Radical Socialism and Hemingway is right. Yeah, let's go with that one. We've killed off a million of them, so I'm feeling pretty good about that, even though we lost a lot of guys against those guys. Get some more of that, because that's super, 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 super important. Even though we still don't have enough factories. Never enough factories. Uh, do those guys, just in case. It looks like the Ottomans are actually done with their war with the Italians. Maybe they just pushed them out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, Syria's looking pretty good, I'll be honest. They're looking pretty darn good. Over here, we got all that stuff done. Over here, we gotta start keep focusing on this stuff for now. Oh, no capital ships yet, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. But yeah, fighting over here kind of sucks as well, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, begin reconstruction, which I already read. Deal with the feds. Since the revolution broke out, we've accumulated an extensive list of pr political prisoners, whom are waiting trial. Now that the war is over, the time to judge these men has finally come. Although some amongst others should believe in rehabilitating these captives, other more radical comrades are eagerly calling for extreme revolutionary justice. And deal with the ODP. The ODP's foul crew of reactionary demagogues, nationalists, and tyrannical generals will finally stand on trial. Although Murray, Murray is himself has escaped capture, will eagerly dish out a fair punishment to everyone who collaborated with him. Also, there was one other coming as well. Look at that. Task force. Great. Paul Hong Kong, um, that we should go with international collaboration. We'll probably do that one, because you guys recommended it. I should probably do that sooner, later than uh, later, but whatever. We'll get there. Destroy Jim Crow. Rebuild the Pacific Coast. Yeah, let's do the Pacific Coast. Let's get California and Oregon and all those guys done. That'll be good. Land, redistrib land redistribution clashes with local warlords. Hey, if you want to know about that, please go ahead. Who thought? Of, thought? Who would have thought? Warlords. Cool. Rock Island Arsenal. Very nice. Ah, Rock Island. Get some more um, engineers, since we have them on all our divisions anyways. Better Artie. What are we missing here, actually? we got a lot of factories. That's pretty nice. Um, Actually, since we're here, build up some more of uh, these guys. As much as I want to build up all this stuff here, it can kind of wait. Arrowhead, we're building up a lot of infrastructure, too, so give us some time. We'll get everything done here. Uh, I, I might go around and delete some enemy divisions. I wish it was a mod where you just get rid of South America or something. Like, uh, so apologies to the South Americans and stuff, but just like... Uh, unless I really want to play in South America, I really don't care what happens down there. Or even just Africa. Maybe even Asia as well. Union vacations. Oh, they got going to buy that. Please go ahead. Culture belongs to the people. Nice. But yeah, I mean, that, that would definitely help with uh, <laughs> some of the lag we encounter in the game. Maybe not by a whole bunch, but still, by quite a bit, so. Anything else here? Not yet. I like getting that pee pee. Yeah, it's probably best that we join the 3rd International so we can help them out here. Well, so we can actually see what's going on down here too, so. Actually, it looks like this. That's 
Not great. Destroy Jim Crow, though. Ridding ourselves of Southern terrorists will not just be a matter of military might. We need to uproot the bigotry and racism that's plaguing America for centuries and crush the Klan fanatics. Let us make Lincoln proud and bring old Dixie down once and for all. And I'm, I just want to click on that one just in case we can get it started with transformative justice. Though we finally dealt with the old American elite, there's still a sizable popular movement opposing a new regime. We need to pacify any remaining counter-revolutionary cells and make sure to track down every last infiltrator in our midst before we can finally be sure, sure that we've won. And actually, for this one, then we'll do the next step. Uh, which we'll read after we get this one done and grab that one. Great. And we get some nuclear technology too. We are victorious in a war against the reactionaries <clears throat> and autocrats of this country. Now, America, or North America, or really America, is the fourth step of the global syndicalist movement. To the North, imperialists must reign supreme. Eager to take their birthright. To the South, there is great turmoil, and we have to proceed with care. Across both oceans, mighty nations seek to dominate their neighbors. What is their place in all of this? Kill them all, and let maybe God sort them out. If we believe in God here. Alva Bessie doing pretty okay. I'd rather go with Fortress Buster instead of Scavenger this time around, but hey, that's okay. Cannon, you doing okay? Our guys have just been hanging out, and I made them all 40 combo with Division, so they're actually really all super strong. Fortress Buster for that one. And we have one of the tank divisions just kind of hanging out. We did go to War Economy. Volunteer only. We will raise it up eventually. If you want to buy the music tour, please go ahead. Roll the Union on. Not bad. Carry Naval Bomber 2s will be very, very nice. And... Tactical Bombers, uh, this stuff is all okay. Uh, let's go over here. Atomic Research, since we do have five uh, research slots, so. Carrier Bomber 2s, let's go bing bong, bing bong, bong bing, bong bing, bing dong. Mm. That works, somewhat. Cool. Okay, we gotta spread the level a little bit more. Let's go down to 10 for now. That'd be fine. Go down to five. Go down by five. That'd be fine. Gun wise, we're doing okay. And we just need more factors on a lot of the different stuff here. And since so because of. Actually, you know what? Before we even do that, uh, I want to double check this. Oh, the president uncovers a greater business plot. Mm, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Oh, actually, no, let me read this. The James Burnham and the Attorney General appeared to Congress today to allege that they have uncovered a connection between the corporations that supported Huey Long, MacArthur, and the PSA. This accusation alleges that businesses or business interests in America were behind the degradation of civil politics during the Revolution, and in the event of either MacArthur, the PSA, or Long winning, the corporations would be the true power behind the presidency. The president has proposed immediate complete dissolution and expropriation to the state of assets belonging to the traders in this grand conspiracy. Congress is taken aback, with mostly initially supporting this measure. Those the traders, however, cause concern among certain members of the IWW and AFL. It appears that some of the corporations on the chopping block include large pharmaceutical companies like Merck and Company. Many congressmen worry that punishing the medical profession will harm the life expectancy of the CSA. An alternative proposal for these corporations to be collectivized under their and their members rehab, rehabilitated and let free. Small sacrifice for, for future like capitalism. Small, small sacrifice. I don't want to see all this stuff here. I really don't. It's a waste of space and time for us. Um, naval bombers, that's fine. I don't even care. I'm not even really using any. Uh, actually, we did lose a carrier earlier. I mean, obviously you didn't see it, but like we did lose a carrier, which it did suck, but whatever. Carriers are extremely weak. Maybe I'll get rid of these guys. I don't want to see all this stuff. I really don't. Even the fighters, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Uh, Stucci bombers, and eh, get rid of that dude because he can. I know I could give this stuff away, but I'm too lazy. I'm literally just too lazy to do it. Not bad. It's fine. We'll produce more. Where are the fires? Are we producing everything? Yes, we are. And there we go. 40. Because we keep taking more and more territory. Um, we are struggling here, though, which is not very good. Meta cash would be good to improve infrastructure here as well. Radar's looking okay. We already have pretty good radar anyways. How do these guys have any manpower left? I'll be real. Like, that literally makes no sense. How do you have any manpower left? Force the attack. I, I don't care. Kill them all off. I really don't care. Transformative justice and then do the next... Oh, next step, please. Thank you. First of all, it's World Science Fiction Fair or Convention. The World of Tomorrow. Very cool. Besha, not bad, not bad. Oh, you're actually getting attacked too, huh? Oh yeah, you're getting attacked from down here, that's fine, whatever. Actually, at this point, I'm going to send you guys over here too. Don't stop training. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. I really don't care. I mean, yeah, we're losing a lot of guys, but you know what? I'm going to kill every Frenchman here. Cool, and if you want to rebuild up, let's go right ahead. Oh my god, films, very cool. 
rebuild the Rocky Mountains? Why not? These guys are still struggling up there. Oh, it looked like the... What's, who, who's winning up here? Is this the state of Hanover coming to France, huh? I really don't understand how they're actually winning over here. Especially winning of air superiority, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, how many French people actually live here? And did they conscript the natives? That's always a good question to ask. Um, our darkest hour. As leaders on top, we must not fa fall. Oh, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall right on your face, you piece of garbage. I don't care how many men we have to throw at the, the throw at them. I, don't, I really don't care. I really don't. Uh, are you guys getting over here? Yes, they are, which is nice, nice, nice. And we've got all this area completely covered. Do we have a Oh my god, we don't have a carrier yet again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't... I, this is really bad for, like, you know, manpower and stuff, but still. But still. These guys have got to learn a lesson. Energy new companies will help out. Maybe get some better recon, too. Cool. Oh, wait, what the heck? Where'd they come from? What the heck? Don't let... Don't, don't, don't let them cut us off. No, 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 no. We literally can't even build there now. God dang it. Indian Revolution Committee, if you like to build that, please go ahead. The revolution is coming to Native Americans. Cool, cool, cool. The next step. After the next step. Friendship? Nope. We're playing green. Mexican standoff. Well, we can't do any of that stuff yet then. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy. The dust settles. I'd love to do that, but there's literally no point to or at least for the land auction. I don't mind military research. Our day covers modernism. I don't know if you're about the piece of ahead. Modernism. I kind of want to do... AFL's not bad. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. Preserve Art Deco. Military research. The GI Bill is really good for research stuff, but... uh, Homes for the people. Landlords and real estate tycoons have been a plague upon this nation. Let us let the poor and starving from their slums now that the rich and mighty have been driven from their seats of power. Good. Good, good, good. Are you guys here yet? Go. Just go in immediately. Floating airfield's very good to get. This one's also very good to get. 22, 23. It's not a capital ship. Yep, the children of the revolution. All across the nation, children of social units are being born. While many of them are simply cared for by social units, there is still legally the responsibility of their mothers whom are not supposed to be in the social units for life. For the women who are not getting married in the near future, Lawrence Dennis has proposed the children of the revolution. They and their mothers will be offered a place in the program that cares for them with the children being placed in a patriotic schooling system that combines military training with schooling. Social stigma against single mothers of America and mothers will be also penalized to encourage births. I like it. Just encourage adoption and set. That's actually probably better to do, but whatever. Uh, practical architecture. While Congress's choice of architectures for socialist America was interesting to say the least, the technocrats have put forward a more practical model for us to follow in our productive areas of life in the form of streamlined modern. However, some party members believe the areas of counties intended for consumption should be based on a more flashy Google googly design. Streamline them all around. Uh, that one. All around. Now it seems like they really can't do too much against us. Zanzibar is gone. That's good. Goodbye, Zanzibar. You guys are... This is why I sent the tanks in and the motorized. They're doing just a great job down here. Oh. Nice. Keep sinking them. I don't care how bad this one is. There you go. Nice. Cuba. Yes. I was looking up here. It's not looking great. Could be a lot worse. But could be a lot better. So. Um, you guys are doing a great job down here, though. They're doing awesome. Like, they're doing really flipping awesome. Strike the cells, because we can. Alright, travel to America. Everyone read about that? Please go ahead. The automotive unions, trade unions. I usually do automotive unions. I do trade train unions this time. Um, would you like to come up through here, please? How are you not winning there? How do you have any manpower left? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I never really liked the North, the, these these French people. Oh, uh, let's see. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Cool. Hmm, make soldiers out of them. 
Execute the traders of high standing. Make soldiers out of them for now. This is that one. Yeah, I never, like I said earlier, I, 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 never, I never thought I'd really like the, the exiled French government. I mean, it makes sense to have them, but I never really liked them. I never played with them, and I don't really plan on playing them. I don't know, it seems okay. It just seems okay. Not really my cup of tea. Our darkest hour. Well, I mean, what was it beforehand, then? <laughs> you were already exiled from the continent. Is this Was that not your darkest hour? Yeah, they're still doing pretty darn well. They already completed all their objectives, which is pretty good. Give them about five seconds before we start moving in. Five, four, three. Okay, I'll go. Because these guys are getting attacked here, and we don't want... We just want to go. Just go, 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 go. I told, I told you to go. Like, why? Why you no go? Still attacking down here. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. All wrong. Get in there first. Oh, you can still rebuild some stuff. Very good. Rebuild the West. Nice, not bad. School homes for the people. The uh, Rose Revolution. As you can tell, I'm avoiding all the Burnham ones right now. And we'll get uh, Burnham really in or Lovestone next time. So, we should invest in a new road system in this country. Creating a national highway system and hiring scores of workers to build it would help our economy immensely. Perhaps it'll be enough to propel us out of our economic troubles entirely, but time will tell. More political power, stability, more consumer goods, factory construction speed, just really good stuff all around, which is awesome. Looking even better now. New anthem for America. If you want your brother up, just go ahead. There's power in the union. This land is your land. I like solidarity forever. Let's go with that one. How are the tanks looking? They're looking great. Pretty darn great. Force the attack. I, I don't want to be bothered with this stuff anymore. Just kill them all off. Carrier fighters. Oh, we need some more light tanks too. That's a good idea. Light tank arenas. There you go. Game. You know, I hate the lag. That's my biggest gripe about Kaiser Redux. It's just so incredibly laggy. Ah. New National Anthem? Well, I, I wonder which one we want to choose here, huh? Which one should we choose? So President Burnham respectfully disagrees with the choice that Congress has made with regards to the new National Anthem. Thanking them for their time, but still putting forward a suggestion by the CSS chapter for an anthem that he would feel to be more appropriate. Out of the choices, offer which National Anthem should be chosen? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options there. Thanks, President Burnham. Thanks for choosing for us. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I really don't care at the time of this recording. We're we're losing so many guys here. I mean, we're going to hang every single person here. Like, so let's be real here. I'm going to kill off every single individual here who's fighting against us. These guys should be cut off. I don't think they... Yeah, they literally can't get any supplies through here, so... We should be able to beat these guys up, right? Right? Double down. Double down. Better radar. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's really... I mean, that makes sense why they get more population and division defense of core territory. It makes sense. But in some cases, it doesn't make sense either. Okay, so you're the last group here. You literally can't do anything here. Like, if it's literally just a national French, it's it's over. It's literally over. <laughs> There's literally no hope of them ever coming back. At least in my opinion. Like, them even existing to begin with is a bit extreme. Maybe, depending on your opinion, but... I don't know, man. It makes sense why they exist, but still. Oh, look at that. They're attacking down there, too. Nope. Even if we can't win up here, we're going to still keep going through here. And this guy's getting a lot of experience, too, so. Here we go. We're going to come back up there, too. Look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Triple Tony, join the Cairo Pact. I'll be honest, we'll probably have to kill them off. And like most campaigns in Kaiser Redux, I'm just going to attack and just attack, 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 and take everything over. Did they abandon the capital? Well, they haven't abandoned it hard enough. What is this? Hey, we lost a battleship. Oh, that's not good. And two destroyers, but we sunk. Enemy battleship, two escort cruisers, and two cruisers, and three destroyers. Nice. Sink that god awful Russian fleet. The fall of Algiers. Nice. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now this is gaming. Get more of these guys. We're going to need way more rubber where we're headed. When in doubt, bring out that rubber. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I, we were going to struggle regardless, but like, I, eh, it is what it is. Go in. Just go in. I don't want to mess with these guys anymore. Yay. Look at that. Oh, very good. Very good. Love the naval stuff. I still love it. 
How you doing? Skill level 6, only 35%. Not good enough. Um, let's see, where's the on top? They're still fighting these guys up here, too. It's not too bad. I'm about ready to just kill off all three parts of Spain myself, but whatever. After this, reconstruction is over. The, cr the crimes of this guilty nation seem to have finally been washed away, even if it took blood and fire to break the old system. We have brought to birth a new world from the ashes of the old. A land of free, equal, and prosperous laborers. Very good. I usually don't go down this path to begin with, but social units look really nice. Look at that. A new America? We could. I don't. Why can we do this? All owned states are currently also controlled by us. Oh, James Burns is not currently the leader. Okay, we can't be friends. Um, all owned states are currently also controlled. Oh, well, hold on. Is it because of this? Yes, it is. There we go. And Mexican standoff exists. Has a total. So we probably don't want to go that way. Romanian up. War plan green exists. Does not have. So do we? We can't do any of this stuff? Hmm. Oh, maybe we'll do this one. Burnham demands Mexico. Mexican standoff. Yeah, I'll probably do that one then. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I might just go to kill them off anyways. I might just call the third international. Oh, hold on. Madagascar. Reich's Pact. We might just kill them off anyways then. We'll see. I don't care. Butcher them. Guys, you don't need to keep circling around each other. Debate over union membership fees and uh, racism. Racism? We love racism. We should not give any more racists in disguise. Cool. Abachabi? Might as well. I didn't notice the Portuguese settlements over there too, so. Cool. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. There you go. Nice. And Dahomey? Alright, let's see. German Republic, huh? Well, at least these guys won. It's good to see. If that's a case, I don't think we should really be trying to kill these guys off. But realistically, I want to kill off the Cairo Pact. Uh, are these guys a puppet of somebody else right now? No, they're not, huh? Oh, why is it 125 days? The French collapse is good. No hope indeed. Um, I'll be. Oh, we get him! Great! But honestly, though, like, at this point in the campaign, why does it cost so much to go to war with somebody? It really should not. It really should not. Maybe it's a, it should be a game rule or something. Hmm. The tanks can deal with it. That's why we made them. That's not too bad. Uh, Portuguese Empire, there you go. There you go. I'm not going li to liberate them either. I, I, want, I want all of them. America's liberated. At long last, all of America is now part of the CSA. The revolution has been achieved as major victory, and people have been unshackled from the chains of capitalism. All of our waving, all of our waving the red flag of socialism from, from California and New York Island. While the scars of the revolution are everywhere, we can look forward to bringing the revolution to everyone. This land is your land. Black Legion retreat, justice at last. Just because we took that little piece of, uh, uh Louisiana, weird. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't want to read any of this stuff. Yeah, I, I play Kaiser Redux so much that I, I don't want to do this. I don't read this stuff again. So if you want to read these, please go ahead. That's going to kill us, but we're going to do all that stuff. Hmm, anything else down here? War propaganda? Probably not. I mean, we don't have much else for PP to do. Let's do limited exports too. Beta Morocco, Dahomey, Wadai, Mali, Mauritania, Sierra Leone, Guinea, Mozilland, Senegambia, Tunisia, Algeria, Trinidad. No, I don't care. Reduce the luck, please. For the love of God, reduce the luck. <laughs> all right. Gabes, Gabies, Gabby. Gabby's. Um, there you are. Yo, just in case. I guess I'm all just a company's too, probably. Okay, very plain is nice. Well, we're we'll focusing on Africa a whole bunch. <sighs> After reconstruction is over, then what? A new America? We still can't do any of this stuff. All the owned states are currently con also controlled by us. Well, what do you mean? All the owned states are a little controlled by us. That must be glitch or something. All owned states. It's just because we don't have Hawaii or something, maybe? Like, how about this? Do we need to go to war? Oh, sh Nike. Do we, have, do we really have to go to war with Japan? I don't want to go to war with Japan right now, please. Well, that means I'm going to kill off Mexico then next. Uh, is there any way we can reduce just five World War Sam? So that is probably... That's not my biggest crap, but that's a huge crap I have. I mean, this is World War II. Let's be real. It's, it's flipping World War II. We can't do any of this stuff because all owned states are currently also controlled. 
I might just use cheats here and just go ahead and do this one. But we'll see. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a new America. All the world that's owned by idle drones is ours and ours alone. We have laid the white foundations, built it skyward stone by stone. It is ours not to enslave in, but to master and to own, for the union makes us strong. Cool. Ciudad de Mexico. Cool. Uh, we need... Oh, yeah, look at all the political power we lost. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Um, oh, does that mean... Ew. Go right on in, guys. Don't worry about it. Follow Burgos is good. Good, good. Recon Company 2s. Let's get some logistic boys. That'd be nice. And a new America. Actually, this will help us get rid of our deficit right now, so it should be very nice. Russian Republic. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like our navy is really doing too much right now. So, what if we start moving our guys around a little bit more? Get some destroyers here too, because they could probably really use it. Hey, we might be able to find some stuff here. Uh, no, guys, we are a okay without doing that. Yeah, after New America, then we're going to go ahead and do the dust settles. We can use extra political power, anyways. As the revolution comes to a close and victory seems to be in sight, we must not take stock in it, evaluate the state of the army comprehensively. Already proposals are flurrying about this project, or that to enhance our military might. But I really want to see what's going on here. Oh, there goes... I think the Commune of Luxembourg has capitulated like seven times already, but whatever. It's okay. We can capitulate seven more times if it needs to be... Oh, Portugal's over there too, huh? Well, I guess technically we could take them out, probably. I know it doesn't make sense for us to actually annex everybody. But I just, like I said, I, I hate the lag. I hate lag in my game so much. So I guess it's the goal of pretty much every campaign I ever do. Just annex everybody. If the lag is bad. If the lag is bad. Because so, some games, you know, some mods are extremely fast. Which is so nice. But still. But still. Uh, what else do we need? More rubber, probably. I want I want America to be rubber independent. Um, Roads looking pretty good, too. I'll be honest. Looking pretty good. Uh, get some radar down here, too. We could probably use that. Uh, especially since we're going to go to war with Mexico eventually. Uh, get some there, too. Why not? And since we're here already, do that, too. Do that. Every corner that we have will have a radar, including in the middle of the Sahara Desert. It's just the way God intended. Um, how much manpower do you guys have left? Okay, they're on all serve. Adult serve. You guys are on... Wow. Limited conscription. Makes sense, I guess. And the dust settles. There is one. As the revolution comes to a close and victory seems to be in sight, we must not take stock and evaluate the state of the army comprehensively. Already proposals are flooring about this project or that to enhance our military might. Might as well. We can get another two slots, so that'd be really good. Come over here, two. Thank you. Two is not enough. Are you still level five? Oh, you're level six. Okay. Not too bad. Anything else? Lone Wolf. I want to save it for... Is he becoming Ironsides? Somewhat, 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 somewhat. Kill off the Portuguese here, man. No peace for the Portuguese. Hello. Who's this? Oh, we own these guys, too, as well. Actually, hmm. Let's change you guys, too. Oh, boy. I guess we're not changing you guys. Grab some of that. Let's get some better armor. Thank you very much. And we're just working on making sure we have enough planes and everything like that. Actually, it'd be really smart for us right now to make sure that all of our groups have enough planes. And enough, uh, stuff here. One. One, two, three. We'll keep doing this as time goes on. Armenia's gone. Goodbye, Armenia. Up next. Get some more casts. Because I love casts. Cool, cool, cool. Throw them all right there. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are looking pretty good right now. Even though I do want to go to war, these guys... Are they a puppet of anybody? No, they're not. That's, that's very weird. They're not a puppet of anybody else. So weird, man. So weird. Keep doing what we're doing. How, how's... Uh, oh. That's looking pretty good. Rubber. For now, we can go get some more. Uh, you guys go ahead when you can. Using tanks to invade and motorize is probably not a great idea, but whatever. Actually, our motorized, they are 20 combo width, which is not good enough. They do have a little bit of armor on them, which is actually pretty nice, but still. Ah, oh, sink them and stink them, my friends. Stink them, stink them, stink them. All right, not bad. And military research. Well, we have some of the finest universities and thinkers in the world. We cannot research everything at once. We need to pick a direction for military research to focus in. Makes sense. Happy 43. I just realized it's 43. Cool. Oh, and the Portuguese Empire has finally fully capitulated. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's not looking good. Uh, let's grab that one. We need way more light tanks where we're headed. That's fine. Anything else? Nope. Alright, we're going to need way more. Cool. Another tank division. 
delicious. You guys are doing a great job. Um, hmm. Escort patrols are good. We're good to grab as well. Thank you for thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you. Thank you. Uh, come back over here to the Africa. Max out infrastructure in Africa is actually pretty gosh darn awesome. Ooh, or go down here too. There you go. Yeah, let's go invade this whole area too. Who is this? Oh, AOG is being attacked. It's still Portugal, so I'm not really too concerned about it. But since we got port, St. Louis. St. Louis. This is a Missouri. Oh, someone's invading us in the Coral Sea. Oh, I don't care. Who cares about a stupid little invasion in the Coral Sea? I don't. I think you're about anything else. Oh, we get some more war support, maybe. Yeah, the, against Madagascar, we gotta deal with Madagascar. And actually, since we are positive on our political power, which means we're still just fine on these guys as well. <laughs> I think such an ungodly long time. Why? I'm probably going to start rating this stuff. Actually, how big is a Russian Navy? They're not even. Oh, social liberals, huh? It's not very good. It's actually pretty darn bad. Any fleet battle we get involved with, we'll probably blow them up. The, the coming to France fleet is not too bad. I was a Britain. I was actually considering playing as a Union of Britain, but I want to go as Mosley, and it might be better to just do a Mosley run in Kaiser Re Kaiser Reich instead of Kaiser Redux. So let me know. Should I do a Should I do a Mosley run in Kaiser Reich? Let me know in the comments below. But the GI Bill, massive numbers of demobilized servicemen will be a major issue in the aftermath of the Civil War. We should create an education and job training program to better reintegrate them into civilian life. Military research. We have our best scientists and business leaders look into what we should invest in to invest our efforts into. Guns, artillery, tanks, or improving our own doctrines. What should we choose? Not our doctrines. Um, we'll probably still need tanks. Let's be real. Uh, we won't get modern tanks. I'll be honest. Like at this, at the time of this recording, like I just never really invest in tanks too much anymore. I mean, if I'm using tanks, I'm using light tanks, and I'll just go either the Colored Enfranchisement Act. Okay, well, that's cool. New bold course for South Africa. I just use light tanks. Let's go! They literally have no strength left. M4 is nice. Grab some of that too. Wow. That's pretty bad. Oh man, my back. Oh, baby boy. I can't even lift weights then. Alright. Hey, we got room. Nice. As God intended. Floating fortresses and carrier battle groups. Very good. Uh, Nigerian Free State. There's too many independent people here. There really are. I guess Liberia will be next. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might just use Khan's commands and kill them off later on, so. 100 more PP. Not bad. The GI Bill. Logistics 2. Logistics 3 immediately. After the GI Bill, we will go and do the new weapon designs. While the M1 Garand managed to see us through the Civil War, its flaws were as noticeable when it adopted as they are now. However, with the criticism we have gathered during the Civil War, we have contacted the original designer, and he has assured us that by redesigning the barrel, gas cylinder, and front sight assembly, he will make the Garand even a more reliable and deadly weapon. The GI Bill. Very nice. Very good. Very, very good. So we're not encountering a lot here. Oh, they are not doing well right there. Ooh, that's not ideal. Coral Sea. Don't really give a crap about the Coral Sea right now. Come up here as well. Nothing there yet. I might want to save it for another group here. Boldness of Science. From the boldness are... A bold new class of scientists our generation has produced. None can match the imagination of Oppenheimer and Parsons. Oppenheimer, the, the ambitious physicist with a connection to the brightest minds of the international, can make the atomic weapon dream a reality. Parsons, the liberated rocketry pioneer who devoted to socialism, is only matched by his devotion to advancing rocket research. However, we can only fully fund what is due to budgetary concerns. You know what? Liberate from the Earth. Liberate the atom. I always do the atom. Let's do the Earth. And a sixth research slot. Look at that. Gotta love socialist science. Let me get rid of this one for now, because I really want to come up here too. There you go. Do we get another carrier yet? No, we do not. That sucks. Yeah, guys, please keep going. Please don't lose these guys. Even if France falls, I mean, that's still a lot of guys we got to kill off, but still. But still. No longer chained to the earth. Despite his unorthodox lifestyle, Jack Parsons has made hasty work of completing a rocket door specifications. We've had to hold back many objections from politicians claiming that Jack Parsons is secretly in a cult with his work associates. Easily dismiss hogwash until a meeting held with a team team late into production. Parsons surprised uh, everyone with a film of a successful rocket taking off ahead of schedule, but then dropped a bombshell by asking that his rocket be used primarily for scientific exploration of outer space. This incredible news is still being mulled over by the committee, with their decision dictating the future of the program. Quest is, uh, Parsons is off for as planned? Now, why not? We have to think about the people here, right? Oh, look at this, yes! Whoever they are, is this Germans? USS Montana. Nice. Good job, USS Montana. Oh boy, yeah. You sunk an allied sub. 
We're gonna sink all your lives. Good, 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 good. These guys are still killing each other over here. That's insane. Colombia and Panama. Very nice. And then, after new weapon designs, rebuild the military industrial complex. With most of the military industrial complex in the East, the Civil War has devastated the old munitions and weapons factories that made up America's war industry as it became high value targets for bombings of preferred hiding spot of persistent enemy defenders. If we wish to be ready for the next war, investing into rebuilding the military industrial complex is one of our priorities. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read a few more focuses, just so we can do them off screen as we can move through this a little bit faster. Colombia needs you. The figure of Colombia, a woman wearing an American flag gown and Phrygian hat, is a personification of the ideals of freedom and pursuit of liberty we fought so hard to achieve. With a tower and overthrown, the radicals put down the service of the American people to Colombia is not yet over. War looms in the horizon, only the brave men of America can protect her and our nation from tyranny. War bonds. We need adequate funding to properly fight this war. Bonds are a popular way of fundraising, and we can easily promote them through cartoons, films, and other popular mediums. If you think I should just go ahead and use cheats to get rid of these guys, please let me know in the comments below. Or if I should just go ahead and uh, uh, wait and just manually justify, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to go and read a few, through, through a few of these. The Marxist. It is controlling the means of production that elite is created. We must make sure its resources are fully put to work in the service of the new proletariat state by nationalizing the largest industries. The Machiavellian. Politics, of course, is more about power than it's ever been about morality. Collecting information on prominent socials and spreading rumors that representatives are already trying to gain the president's favor will lay the groundwork to ensure our potential enemies will be too busy fighting each other to unite against the president's policies and the patriot. President Burnham understands that not only is managerialism the feature, but so is nationalism. Without national myths, there will be no social cohesion amongst the proletariat and reminding them of their national pride and threats to her are being absolutely needed. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when the Russian Republic will probably kill off the Communist France, and we've got a big old threat on our hands. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.